Okay, so today we're cutting out this panel. So we'll put this panel down inside there. So what they did is, this piece is actually the inner door. They took a piece and folded it over the top. So when we're looking at this, it's really rusty. It's pretty much shot. So what we're going to do is we're going to use this edge on the new piece. Uh, I've seen a lot of guys, what they do is they grind this edge, which is fine. But what happens is you get waves like this. I don't care how careful you are. They still grind it funny. So what we're doing is we're trying something different today. We're actually putting the cutoff side on inside there and just cutting this lip. So we'll be able to cut this piece right out. And then we'll have a good solid lip. We're going to keep our body line right where it has to be. So it's a lot more work this way. But I think in the long run, it's definitely going to be worth it. So that's what we're going to work on is just trying to cut this line out. got the skin separated from the door door skin separated from there we're able to maintain our line out here a lot better I screwed up a little bit here and let that cutter get the best of me right there we had to weld that edge anyway because we don't have that flap anymore to fold over but in the long run we maintain this edge a lot better, so we're going to have a straighter edge when we're done. Uh, we do have the other one almost ready here. I'll show you what's going on here. This is the second one. And as in another video we showed you, we cut this piece out. This is the new piece of black in here. We got this all down pretty nice. Finish up a little bit grinding. Roll the edge back over and weld up this edge, grind that down. Uh, just a little bit of fine grinding here and there. And when we're done with this, you'll never even know that we put that piece in there. Strong, just like it was back to factory. Measure everything three times. Made sure everything was tacked up right. And then we just tacked it a little bit, little bit by little. We actually been using vice grips and pliers to make sure it stayed straight and we maintained this body line. Because we want this body line to match up because your seal is going to go down inside here. So we want this to fit up decently to the body, but you need a gap because you're going to have a rubber seal in there. So we got that. I mean, that's to me, it's perfect. A um, little bit more fine grinding here and there. We'll finish that up. We'll show you the finished product when it's all done here in a few minutes. Got it all lined up today. We got the panel pulled down in where it should be. 
we got a little scribe mark and what we're doing is we're cutting through this and we're going to kind of mark on top where it's going to go but because it's not exactly there because you have that inside panel in here yet the old panel it's going to be off a little bit so we're just going to mark it then we're going to reclamp this piece in there and make sure we get the cut right so that's pretty much what we're doing is just cutting this metal out and getting it prepared so we can put the piece in little by little here We get it clamped down here pretty tight so it can't really move, but it's just time consuming. Tight is the key, and we get them tight. It's not anything to move when we're doing this. over the saws all here so we can kind of round it down and put it a little bit tighter in this corner because we want these to match real nice because we're going to weld them up and tack them like the other one and we grind them smooth then we can fold that edge right back over um uh, you just can't get the grinder in there plus the saws will give us a little bit narrower path it's actually nice
Now when we cut that panel back, of course this one moved, but the other panel exactly where we needed it, so it's not going to matter. Because once we put this panel in, we'll test fit it. This panel is going to push it back right exactly to factory specs, right where it needs to go. These panels aren't perfect, but they're really nice. Another thing we learned that these panels were a little bit too wide. So that other one we actually cut down the center, closed the gap on them so they're a little bit tighter. Because, like I said, they're not perfect, but they're really good. Impressed with how good they are.
right, guys. So we had all the door patches put on. Um, they're looking really good. I'm really happy with the way that they came out. Um, just took a lot, a lot of time just getting it welded up. We had to cut these pieces in two just to fit them a little bit better. Um, the patches that we bought didn't fit the best, um, but it was a lot easier than trying to make our own patches. So I still got to clean up a little bit left on this patch here just a little bit of grinding and welding yet um what we also did too <clears throat> is this door from factory was not level at all um so what we ended up doing there is we took some uh welding rod and we just kind of filled it in um welded it solid i mean there's there's no holes it's solid it's not going to go anywhere um, but we really strained that up. It's a lot better than what it was factory. We put the level on it and I mean, it just looked like a, a wave going right down it. Um, so that's kind of where we're at. It took a lot of hours just trying to get everything as close as we possibly could. I still got to clean up some welds and whatnot on this one, but pretty much just clean it up, weld it back, um, put this flat back. We're going to rust proof this the best that we can. And then those doors are going to be pretty much ready just kind of for strip paint and a little bit of body work.